Okay, this is part six of Camp Letterman on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we're standing here at the corner of Camp Letterman uh, Road and Natural Springs Road. Now, Natural Springs Road goes down to Route 30. And, of course, a road's named Natural Springs because just in the distance on the other side of the shopping center sat several natural springs, which the cookhouse that we looked at in part two was located. So this area had springs and of course today this road is named Natural Springs Road. Uh, Camp Letterman Road goes into this private development here um, and basically Camp Letterman Road uh, connects this way behind the shopping center and it was the rear uh, fence line of the George Wolf Farm also known as Camp Letterman. And one of the more interesting things about this area is the view. Um, of course, soldiers that were here at the hospital were obviously wounded in the Battle of Gettysburg on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 1863. And if you could place yourself as one of those soldiers, whether it be Union or Confederate, let's try to do that for a moment. Think for a moment yourself, I am a Union soldier or I am a Confederate soldier. Okay, now once you have that down, think that you were taken to a hospital in a home nearby. Um, and then after a period of time, as Camp Letterman developed, you were brought here. Now you're looking at sometime in mid-July through November, you're brought here to the George Wolf Farm, and you're placed in an outdoor tent hospital here. Um, just a distance away from where you were fought and wounded. And if you, were, if you fought and wounded on the first day's battlefield, such as the <coughs> Lutheran Theological Seminary, or let's say Oak Hill where the Eternal Light Peace Memorial was, you can see those in the distance. If you look just beyond that large antenna there in the field, just to the right is the tree line where today the Eternal Light Peace Memorial uh, sits. That's the first day's battlefield on the northern, northern end uh, where Rhodes' Confederate division passed through, Iverson's pits, you know, all the actions of the first day. And you can see the Eternal Light Peace Memorial from this site. Um, if you move over here just a little ways to the toward Camp Letterman Road here, uh, in the distance you can also see the cupola of the Lutheran Theological Seminary, though it's a little difficult right now. Uh, it sits just in the distance beyond that sign that says no outlet. So if you were wounded on the first day's battlefield, McPherson's Woods, a uh, Union soldier down at McPherson's Woods, a Confederate soldier down at McPherson's Woods, you would again be at this hospital, and if you were recuperating nicely, you could walk out here to this hospital hill and see the a actual battlefield that you were wounded on. And then if you stand here, right where the, the crossroads of the sign was, in the distance, directly uh, down this Camp Letterman Road, there's a little tiny clearing right here, and I can see the gatehouse of the Evergreen Cemetery. So if you were wounded here on July 1st or 2nd or 3rd, 1863, uh, in areas like East Cemetery Hill, Culp's Hill, uh, cemetery Ridge of some sort, or even in the battle through the town that erupted, the skirmishes through the town, you can see the Evergreen Cemetery Gatehouse right from the site. So this site is kind of interesting because you, it gives you a panoramic view um, of the Gettysburg Battlefield. And it sits here next to this large blue water tower. And as we walk past this tower, up even further on the hill, um, you'll be able to see the southern end of the battlefield. Now, of course, directly behind the tower, a few farms back in the distance is the Daniel Lady Farm, and we've done two videos uh, at the Daniel Lady Farm. So you want to go back and review those photos. Now, there was a group of photos taken from um, the Lutheran Theological Seminary area that show the town of Gettysburg, and in the distance you can see the tents of Camp Letterman, and today you can use this blue water tower here uh, as, a di as, a, as a mark, just as you can the blue water tower on, on uh, East Cemetery Hill as a marker. Uh, but here in the distance, just beyond these trees over here, 
is big and little round top. So again, from Hospital Hill here on part six, you can get a panoramic view of the entire battlefield, the southern end, the western end, and the northern end of the battlefield. This has been part six of Camp Letterman on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Camp Letterman site, and directly, we're up on the hill, and the site that we're looking at now is not too far from where we took our first video at. Um, in the distance here in front of us where you can see the American flag is the McDonald's and then over there to the left is the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, over here is the Hossa Steakhouse on the York Pike and then the large building uh, is the Walmart. And the, the site that we're looking at now where all this high grass is directly in front of us from about the York Pike all the way back here into the distance as we go up the hill was the original site of the support tents, the support staff tents of Camp Letterman sat here um, not too far from the original 1863 road which ran right to the back over here. Um, the support staff was just basically uh, any support of the surgeons at Camp Letterman. Um, also civilians uh, and some like as we read in the account of the soldier uh, that was mortally wounded in the 17th Connecticut, his friend. Uh, anybody that was permitted to support any of the staff at Camp Letterman was tented right in this area here. Um, then in the distance where you see that large tree uh, in the background and then this fence line back in that corner over there and we'll, we'll go into depth later on that that was the US Sanitary Commission and the US Christian Commission just behind this large pile of debris that you see here now where we are standing now um, is between the US Sanitary and Christian Commissions which were located just behind this pile of debris uh, and then in this grassy field here in front of where you see the Hilton Garden, uh, in this distance was the general hospital tents. And of course the shopping center is directly in front of us. Now in the distance you can see uh, the cupola of the Lutheran Theological Seminary uh, behind the shopping center and in the college complex uh, just to its right in between both the Hilton Garden and the shopping center you can see the college complex here um, and just about 15 years ago sat a mobile home park which is the road that I'm walking on here there was a mobile home park that sat here for some years now amazingly enough um, about 65 percent of Camp Letterman is still undeveloped the only developed part was the giant shopping center, the parking lot, and the Hilton Garden. But most of the general hospital ward tents, the support staff, which sat over here, um, the U.S. Christian Commission and the U.S. Sanitary Commission, which sat back in this corner over here, uh, the cook tent, which is just where the high trees are there to the right of the Hilton Garden, that's all undeveloped. So 65% of the original site of Camp Letterman is still undeveloped and could be preserved um, if a developer doesn't buy the area and develop it. So amazingly enough, uh, most of the site is still undeveloped and could be saved. This has been part seven of Camp Letterman on the George Wolf Farm on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Camp Letterman, part eight. And what I want to do in this video is I am actually standing here on Oak Hill with the Eternal Light Peace Memorial behind me in the distance. Um, and earlier in a video I had mentioned being able to see the Eternal Light Peace Memorial from Hospital Hill. And I aimed the camera in this direction. Now I'm here on Oak Hill. And directly in front of us you have this cannon here. Um, and then in the distance you have a antenna and then behind it in the distance you can see the light blue water tower which sits on Hospital Hill 
And then just to the left of the tower over here, you can see the uh, Hilton Garden Inn and the Giant Shopping Center. Um, that is the area of Camp Letterman, and there were actually photographs taken from around this area in 1863, uh, a little bit further to our south, that showed the town of Gettysburg, which is in the distance, and then behind it, instead of the Hilton Garden Inn and the Giant Shopping Center, you could see rows of white tents, which was Camp Letterman. So I'm just trying to give you a perspective view from what Camp Letterman looked like in the distance, from Oak Hill and about how far in distance it was here from the first day's battlefield. This has been part eight of Camp Letterman on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.